Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain the steps you need to take to access an internet Wi-Fi connection on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. One way to access a Wi-Fi connection on your phone is to open the Settings app. This app is shown on screen, but if you can't see it, you can quickly find it by searching for the app in the search bar shown at the bottom of this page. It's worth noting that you may have the same search bar in a different location on your phone, but it should be visible. Let's tap on the Settings app once to open it. A long list of options is then presented, but we're interested in the Network and Internet settings shown near the top of the page. Let's tap on that once to open it. The page that is then displayed deals with all the settings for the phone's internet and mobile connections. I'm going to tap into the very top option, however, Internet, which deals with how your phone connects to any internet Wi-Fi. When you initially open the internet page on your phone, the first thing it will do is search for any available internet connections. If I give it a second or two, you'll see that my phone finds another internet access point that I can potentially link to. It's worth noting that there are two different types of Wi-Fi connection you will typically access. All the internet connection points shown on this page are secure. This means you will need to provide a password to access them. You know they are secure because they have a small padlock next to them which indicates a password is required. These type of connections are most commonly used by businesses or private homes. The other type of connection is an open Wi-Fi point. These won't display a padlock next to their name. You can find these type of connections in coffee shops or shopping areas. They are usually free, but will require you to register and provide your email address. I'm going to connect to the Boom Wi-Fi connection shown on screen. Let's tap once on it to open it. We're then presented with a password entry screen. As this Wi-Fi connection is secure, you can only access it by providing a valid password. I'll quickly enter my password now. I hear some lovely hold music whilst I'm doing that. Once done, to confirm my password, I'll now tap on the connect link at the bottom right of the page. Your phone will work to authenticate the password you provided. If the password is correct, it will then confirm that it has connected to the Wi-Fi network. You'll also see that a small Wi-Fi connection icon has appeared at the top of the screen. If I tap into the Wi-Fi connection, you'll see a number of additional options are shown. You should check the status of the Auto Connect option on this page. If you're likely to want to access the Wi-Fi connection regularly, this option should be chosen as it will save you having to enter the password every time you connect. Returning to my home screen, one final tip for you is that you can quickly access any Wi-Fi connection by pulling down from the top of the screen. This displays a number of options, but the one we're interested in is Internet. If I tap on that to open it, you'll see we're returned to the Internet settings page we were on previously. I can quickly switch to an alternative Wi-Fi connection just by tapping on it once. As I have previously entered the password for this Wi-Fi connection, my phone will connect automatically. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please do consider giving this video a like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.